Good day everyone, welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. I've set a marker up here in the woods to where we're going to go hunting for uh, for some hair at. And uh, I think it'll be a good spot. Um, it looks interesting, we're just going to ride right through these people's gardens because, well, F their gardens, basically. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go up here and hunt for a few rabbits and uh, yeah, maybe we'll get lucky and run across Riki while we're in here hunting, but I doubt it. I don't know exactly where he's going to be at, but it's as good a place to start as any, I guess. So if you didn't see the last episode, we're looking for Limpy Lobush. Uh, we couldn't find him, or actually we did find him, and he was brutally murdered. So we're trying to find uh, out who done that, and so we're looking for his friends. And one of his friends' name is Riki, which is a tanner's son, called Riki because he smells terrible. And uh, apparently he goes hunting a lot and sells meat to the innkeeper. Well, the innkeeper wouldn't really confess to that. He sort of did, but he sort of didn't. But then it was, he said, you know, if we could pay off some of Riki's debts, then we might have a, a shot at actually... Who is this guy? Uh, he may tell us where he's at. Let's, let's find out who this guy is real quick. He may be the... Um... Who are you? Okay, well, he's not going to talk to us. Um, then he'll kind of tell us where Riki might be, basically. What is this place up here? I wonder. Maybe a little hunter, hunter shack, I guess. Let's just park the horse. An herbalist. Okay, maybe that's who that is. We're just gonna park the horse over here for the time being. That sounds funny. Park the horse. Well, there you are sitting there. Um, let's see if she knows anything about Riki. She may have run across him. What can you tell me about Riki? What can you tell me about this Hinek? What can I tell you? No, he's none too popular. No one cares to talk to him. Why not? Well, I'm not one to gossip, but I heard he keeps bad company. Girl, you sound terrible. Uh, I don't know what you've been eating out here in the woods, but stop it. What's Hynek's father What's like? What's the tanner like, Hynek's father? The less I see of him, the better. He's not exactly sparkling company. Uh, why do they call him Riki? Uh, this stuff is all stuff we, uh, we've already heard from people. I don't think we need to really listen to that. What have you got in here? This is probably a private area, isn't it? No, it's not. I actually like this little star alchemy. Huh. We can learn about alchemy here. I like this little shack you've got here. It's pretty cool. Alright, let's go up here and see if we can find a place to hunt. I'm not 100% sure exactly what to look for. I assume it's just going to be some open ground like it was the last time we went hunting. Oh, looky here. We need uh, 60. Oh, come here, little fella. Oh, missed you. Oh, don't tell me I don't have any more arrows than that. A broken arrow. Shoot. Um, hopefully I've got some more hunting arrows. Let's see. We've got nine, so I've got to be... Oh, I've got 110. No, no, no. It's only one. I've only got nine, which is not good. I need to get quite a few rabbits, so I need to be very careful about not breaking these arrows. If I can help it. Dang it. I'm going to suck at this. I always do. Pull the bow back out, buddy. Come on now. Where'd that arrow go? I may may have lost that one. Alright, where'd the rabbit go? There he is up there. Stop. Oh, shoot, I scared him. They're a little harder to see up here just because of the... Uh, the grass is a little taller. What is the deal with this? these arrows? Not... That, why is it... It's like it equips it and then it goes away for whatever reason. I 
Ah. Stamina goes down too fast. Let's get a little closer here. Alright, there's one. 21, good. All we gotta do is... I still don't understand why that's stealing. Oh, you know what? I know why. I never thought about it, but it's because poaching is illegal. So that makes sense, then. So we are actually stealing it from basically... Basically, we're stealing it from the king. Because he owns the animals. Okay. That makes sense. Let's, uh... So we can find another rabbit here. We need, like, two or three more. Alright guys, this should be the last one. I'll have enough meat to uh, to bribe this guy with ice. I think he's seen me. And I've got to equip my arrows again. I don't know why it has me equip these arrows every single time I shoot one. It doesn't make a lot of sense. But they should stay equipped, I think. But whatever. Not going to worry about it. Oh uh, shoot, where'd he go? There he is. I think, about to say, I think he ran off somewhere. Oh man, that was close. Let's see if we can find this area here. Where'd it go? It was right around here somewhere. I don't want to waste too many because I don't have many left. Oh, come on. Oh, did I just shoot myself? Oh, shoot, I broke it too. Dang it. I'm going to end up wasting all my arrows out here and not having any left. There we go. We got one. That's all we need, really. Okay, there he sits. So we can sneak up on him. I got to re-equip. Again. We've got four, so we've got plenty. Oh, right over his head. equip again. I don't know. This drives me crazy. I don't understand that. Okay, we got him. That was kind of weird, but we got him anyway. Good. 22. That's that's plenty. That's all we need. We gotta buy some more arrows at some point. Alright, let's go. Let's call a horse and get back down here to... Uh, Come on, get on there. Get back down here to the innkeeper. I can't mount him. Why can't I mount the horse? There we go. Okay, so exactly where are we and where do we need to go? Oh, there's a some kind of quest right there. Nice. Alright, we gotta ride back down here. We'll just fast travel. No no sense in No sense in uh putting you guys through that little travel time there. That was a nice little hunting mission though. What are you pronounce this? Let it... Let it check go? Let it go? Something like that? We'll let this load in and we'll go talk to the innkeeper and hopefully he'll give us some information on where to find Riki. All right, so we're already right here at the end. Oh, I, I apologize. Let me uh, just put that up real fast. Sorry about that. My bad. I forget. Innkeeper. My respects to you, sir. You as well, mustache. I have that game. I've got that game for you. Splendid. Some of the customers have been asking after it. 
It's stolen, but I got it. Uh, and confirm delivery. Hmm. That looks pretty good. So, what do you want to know about Inak? Uh, well, I want to know where his hideout is. I hear Hinek has a hideout in the woods he uses for hunting game. Do you know where it is? Not exactly. That is... I don't know where it is at all. But? But I happen to know it's a dark place. A cave or an old mine shaft. How do you know that? Whenever Riki was going poaching, he always came to me first for candles and lamp oil. He brought the game skin to gutted, so we had to have a light for that. How much game did he bring you? How much you? game did he bring you? Not much. A few pieces. There's no great demand here. Sometimes the gentry is something, otherwise it ends up in sausages. Where is there a mine shaft in the area? And do you know of any mine shafts nearby? There's a few of them around. There's one on the opposite bank, a short way off the path leading from the forge to the west. Then there's a mine gallery to the east of the village, uh, up in the woods above the cliffs. And I heard there's one shaft on the headland close to the water. Thank you. A mine shaft close to You're the water welcome. is not a smart idea. Watch you don't break your neck, though. It's rough ground, and you could easily fall down a shaft. Find the cave in the hills by Lepcheco. Okay, well, I guess that's what we need to do then. So this is going to be interesting. Find a disused mine shaft on the left bank of the Sasau River. Okay, so the Sasau River must be this river here. I assume... No, this must be the Sasau River down here. Yep, okay, so let's head down here first, then we'll circle back up around this way. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Hopefully there's a bridge we could cross the river somewhere down here. This is getting very fascinating. Alright, come on, Elmer. We got a ride, son. Let's see, where is, uh, where do we need to go? Straight down? Yes. Hopefully we'll be able to find this shaft uh, fairly easily. It says it's on the left bank of the Sasau River. Now the left bank would be across the river, correct? I mean, it depends on which direction you're coming from, which is going to be the left or which is going to be the right. And it says this is right here, so this must be the left bank right here. And not this side. So I guess we'll look on this side first and just see if we can find it. It might be a bit difficult, but that's kind of the fun of it, right? Not really knowing what you're going to get into, because we may find something something else, you know, while we're searching, which might be pretty cool. Alright, let's see. Oh, shoot. There's thick weeds here. But the horse just can't seem to get through. Oh, here's something. This must be a, uh... What we got going on here? A camp. Oh, this is like a... Okay, I see what they're doing. They're cutting logs. A logging camp, if you will. Alright, we're coming up on... Oh, look here. That was easy enough. They had the marker right here at it. All right, let's go investigate this place. Find the disused mine shaft on the left bank of the Sasau River. And of course, there's... Doesn't look like we can really get anywhere, does it? I mean, uh, I don't think we can really go anywhere. Cave mushroom, nah. I think, uh... I don't think this one's it. Unless there's a place you can drop down from somewhere else, perhaps. That's possible. Although, doubtful. Uh, 
I look around real quick and make sure there's not like another entrance somewhere. I don't see one. Well, I guess this was kind of a waste of time going over here. It would have been nice if there was a little more a little more interesting something there, but instead of just a hole in the rock, but that's fine, whatever. Alright, let's go up to the next one up here, and uh, he's obviously probably going to be at the next one, I would imagine. We've got to figure out how to cross this river as well. I do believe. Unless it's unless it's not very deep, then we can just run across it. I better not go in any oh. further. I might drown. I guess we'll just run down through here and see if we can find us a bridge somewhere, or, or at least a shallow area to cross. Surely there's somewhere. Jeez, oh, come on, Elmer. Get through the bush. What kind of horse are you, anyways? Gracious. Okay, here we go. There'll be a shallow area right up here. Let's get your stamina back. Here somewhere looked like a shallow area. Right here. Yeah, we're pretty close to it as well, coming up right up to the woods near it, so that's good. Look how much different the woods look here. Lots of pine trees. a completely different biome, if you will. Pretty cool. Alright, so the guy said to watch out for mine shafts not to fall down in them. So it looks like this is it right here. Okay, this one looks a bit more promising. Uh, well, maybe not. They don't go anywhere either. Huh. Well, crap. Come on, let me back through here. Hmm. I'm at a bit of a loss then. I'm not sure if uh, if we should be looking around for a hole somewhere or was there another one? There's another one up here, so it must be this one way up here then. Jeez, it's a long ways off too. Let's um, let's fast travel back here, or can we even do that? I think we can. We'll fast travel back there, or do we have somewhere a little closer? No, that's pretty much the only place. And then we'll ride up there to the other part. Spending almost our whole day riding around looking for caves. But that's what you have to do in an investigation. Henry? I mean, uh, Elmer? There you are. Jeez, you get right in my face every time. Alright, let's go. I think we're going... Yeah, we're going to turn around and go kind of this, this way.
Don't get stuck in the river. Jeez, I'm driving this horse like I drive a race car. It's all over the place. Ah, oh, come on, you can... I have faith in you, Henry. You can climb it. You can do it, buddy. Come on. Be like the little engine that could. There you go. You got it. You got this. Get on up in there. Oh, a camp. Woodland garden. Oh, well. What am I stuck on? A bucket? How does this even happen? Elmer, it's a stick fence, Elmer, come on. I'm literally stuck in a stick fence. Oh, Lord have mercy. All right, get off the horse. You're staying here for a time being. Can I not get out of this stupid place? There we go. We'll just, we'll just hoof it, <laughs> no pun intended. It's just going to be right up here anyway, so why not? Maybe we'll find something interesting along the way. See, even this forest looks a bit different. Okay, now we actually have a trail going up towards this one, so that's a good sign. And a rabbit right there in the middle. Ah, oh, look here. What is this? I'd say an interesting site, but it's lock picked a hard, and I'm pretty sure we can't get into that. The lock is too difficult. Of course it is. I bet you there's something good hidden here. But, uh, unfortunately, we can't look at it right now. So, we'll continue on, and, uh, shouldn't be too much further. A little further out in the woods than I thought it was going to be, though. It's a big old rabbit. Look at that thing. Good night. Thing's huge. Well, it's supposed to be right here somewhere. Ah, here we go. This one looks a bit more promising. Yeah, this actually has a campsite around it, so we, let's be careful. Hopefully he's here. He's got tanning supplies. That's a good sign, too. And we found it. Jesus Christ. What am I to do? Not that I can expect any use from advice from you. At least, you have no more cares. Need someone to talk to? Fuck! Don't, don't kill me! I, I can explain! I won't tell anyone. I swear, I've no one to tell anyway. Just please don't kill me. I'm not planning to kill you. You're, you're not one of Runt's men? No. Then who are you? I'm not here to kill you. I come here in the name of Sir Radzik Kabila and Sir Hanish of Lipa. I'm investigating the raid on the Neuhof study. Well, I've got no idea what you're on about. Well, save your breath. If you want any chance to escape the gallows, you better come here at the behest complete, of Sir right? Radzik. Jesus Christ. This will never be over. So? Fine then. That Neuhof raid of yours didn't turn out quite as planned, did it? Depends on whose plan you're talking about. We were up to it to grab some loot and bugger off. Only Runt's cutthroats was there to shed blood. What do you mean, Runt's cutthroats? There were two gangs there. Mine and Runt's. We was only there to steal, but they wanted to slaughter everyone. But when you realised what they had in mind, you didn't have to go along with it, did you? 
But we didn't know nothing, even though we were going to Neuhof. They told us to keep watch on the courtyard while they were cutting the horses' throats. Jesus, that fucking vexed me. Their horses was the most valuable thing there. When I spoke up, though, Rutt gave me such a bollocking I knew I'd better keep my mouth shut. And when they said we was going to kill anything that moved, then we knew there was no going back. That gang of yours, what can you tell me about them? Don't know what you want to know. There was four of us. Me, Timmy, Limpy Lubosh, and Pius Pavel. Tell me about Sometimes we'd uh, rob a gang. place or hold up pilgrims. Never nothing There's something fancy. about your gang. I'm sure you did mischief enough. Who led you? Pius. He was the oldest and he'd mostly find the jobs for us. Plan them and the like. He got us into that fucking mess in Neuhof too. What about the others? Timmy's strong as an ox with a brain to match. You got more sense out of a fence post. And Limpy, I've been with him the longest. He's my one and only friend, I suppose. Who got your two gangs together? You must have made contact somehow, right? Pius. He comes to us and says he's got this prime job. We're gonna rob a farm, okay. he says. Well, that was a big deal, right. because mostly we just did small stuff. A hold up on the road now and then, nothing fancy. When they told us how much we could make on it, well, we just couldn't refuse. So Pius knew them? I suppose, but I don't know where from. We even got paid up front. I should have known from the start it was too good to be true. Where did the rest of your gang end up? You saw Limpy, right? Yes, but he's no use to me now. Tell me where I can find Pius or Timmy. I don't know nothing about Pius. He where vanished Timmy in the Pius? woods, and I haven't seen him since. Timmy, I reckon, went back to the mill where he works. Which mill? The windmill a bit north of Neuhof. Did you know any of Runt's people? Not a one. They didn't talk to us at all. None of their faces was familiar okay. either. The only thing I know is they called that Tell me about huge Runt's chief gang. of theirs Runt. Did you know any of Runt's people? Us to watch out for him. I don't suppose you know where they got to after the raid. On the way to Neuf, Timmy told me he was at their camp with Pius. I reckon that's where they've gone now. Where are Runt and the rest? Did Timmy tell you where the camp is? Somewhere in the woods. He didn't say nothing more. Thing is, Timmy's got quite an imagination. But Pius roared at him to shut it, so Where's I reckon the there must be something in it. Tell me exactly how the raid went down. Um, well, we stormed in from the rear. Runt's people started slaughtering the horses. Jesus, okay. that was pretty The Neuhof raid. Meanwhile, Describe the raid Limpy in had detail. a sniff round the stables to see if we could find anything worth pilfering. And in the end, we got lucky. What did you find? Smill, Sir Hanish's groom. I don't know why he was up and what he was doing in the stables, but we took advantage of the situation. Limpy grabs him by the throat, and I slapped him round to encourage him to tell us where the money was. Then it all fell apart at the seams. Quicker than you'd believe, Runt comes running up and skewers the groom like a pig for roasting. My jaw dropped. I thought the stuff about killing was just tough talk. And it wasn't? No, not in the least. What happened then? I'm gaping at Smill, stuck through and through, and I noticed this boy standing at the other end of the stables. The stupid sods pointing at us, jaw hanging down to his knees, saying, I know you. Run turns to us and hisses. Take him down. So me and Lubosh start running, because the lad took to his heels. At the same time, we could hear the noise of the skirmish in the courtyard. We caught up with the boy at the next farmhouse. Knock him to the ground, but he bashes me with some piece of iron so hard my head's ringing like a fucking church bell. Limpy grabs it off him and stands over him, with his bodkin in his hand, and I start praying. In the end, Limpy just gives him a kick and says, beat it, Ginger. And then Runt shows up at the gate and hollers that we gotta go, so we scarp it. 
What happened after the raid? We were waiting for that fool, Timmy. Same place as we met them before, so he'd know where we were, right? Stupid fucking idea. But Pius what didn't want to leave him behind. Only when Timmy finally turned up. Two of Runt's men were dragging him. There was some difference of opinion. You could say that, yeah. They started on us right away that we were traitors. They knew we'd let somebody get away and now we were going to pay for it. They started trying to surround us and we knew what was coming. But Limpy took his bodkin and let that fucker have it in the belly. Runt! One of the others. Timmy broke free from them and we all took to our heels. Luckily they were so buggered from the raid they didn't follow us for long. They just shouted that they'd find us. That's all I need to know. So now what do I do with you? Well... Uh, looks like we might get a little more information about the Neuhoff raid. Uh, maybe not. That will do for now. Oh shit. Runs people. Well? We've got to get out of here. Oh jeez. They're too close. We'll never outrun them. Fuck! At least they don't know I'm here. The two of us can take them by surprise. Yeah, we're not gonna. Oh, fuck we can't away. fight them. I'm gone. Look here. If you run, they'll catch up with you and kill you. And me too. Together, we we'll can't a fight them. Chance. Oh, Jesus Christ. No way. All right. I suppose you're right. You gotta be kidding. What's, What's going on there? Who's there? Hey. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm gonna enjoy this. Go ahead and kill this guy real quick. He's not too bad. Ha! Oh, crap. There we go. Gotta hit on him. I just can't. You call that combat? There we go. Oh man, he freaking got me good there. Nice. Alright, where's the other guy? Did we get them all? Holy crap, we got them all. Stop, Riki. I've got some more questions. What? Oh, never mind. You're coming with me. Sir Radzik and Sahanish will want to hear what you've got to say. Don't suppose there's any chance you might turn a blind eye. Why should I? Mm, no. I didn't do nothing all that bad, and I told you everything I know. You can tell them yourself, and leave me here. And in a few weeks, I'll pack up and clear off. Hmm. Taking you to Rote. Nothing bad. How many people were screaming at Neuhoff? Half the stables are burnt down. I didn't kill no one, and I didn't Doesn't start no fire, neither. But you had a hand in it, and you wanted to rob them. You could have warned them. I'm no saint, but surely I don't deserve to hang for that. It was them others. I don't give a tinker's curse. You were there, you didn't warn anyone, and you helped those murderers, even if it was only for a while. You're going to Ratai with me. You're condemning me to death. You know that, don't you? Maybe they'll be merciful. Maybe Sahanish will have mercy on you. You've had the devil's own luck so far. Oh, am I not going to get too... Is it going to cut scene all the way there? I'm not, I'm not going to get to... Uh, loot those guys. That stinks. I had to fast travel back up there and see if, if, if they're still laying on the ground. I 
Yeah, dang it. Um, is he, is he in here? I guess he is, yeah. Alright, let's, let's fast travel back there. Real quick. Can we just do it from in here? I think we probably can. Where was it? It was up in here somewhere, right here. Oh, we can't, we can't actually fast travel to the cave itself. We have to go to an area nearby. Oh, man, that stinks. Okay, uh, hmm. We'll go here, I guess. I can't fast travel from this location. All right, then. Can I fast travel from in here? Maybe. It's going to be a long journey and we're probably not going to get to, um... Probably not going to get to the cave until dark. So when we get there, we'll probably just go ahead and sleep. And then hopefully those bodies will still be there. Um when we wake up in the morning. If we can if we can see, we'll go ahead and loot them at night. But I don't know if we'll be able to see them or not. At least it's not completely dark yet. Put her sword up before somebody like freaks out about it. Still hungry, I forgot about that. Well, we can, maybe we can eat here too. If not, I believe I stole some apples off that one guy. Oh, that actually may have been. Yeah, I think that was before. I think the apples I stole was when I killed a guy and then I ended up dying and had to reset, so. Alright, good. They're still here. Awesome. I'd like to know where the other guy went. He may have took off running, so this guy should have some apples on him, I think. Yeah, there we go. So we can eat those. Those apples, the bandages we'll also take, better hunting, arrow. Uh, some of this other stuff we can take and then sell. Uh, dark foot wraps and soles. Those we'll definitely take. Leather gloves we'll take. Lockpick. This bow, I want to compare it with my bow. That looks like everything on him. Let's check this guy. Apple, charcoal. Take the groschen. Honey. Not valued much. Leather gloves. Those are valued a lot, so we'll definitely take those. We can take this. It's probably better than mine. I think that's everything we need from there. So we can find this this last guy. Uh, I don't know where he went. I'm assuming he just ran off, probably. So we're gonna go in here and see if uh, this fella had anything to eat in here and just kind of look around. What is that? Just water? Okay. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. You gotta, there's gotta be some food around here somewhere, maybe. No, I don't even see a fire. I 
All right, well, we can eat some apples, I guess. We've got a few apples in our inventory here. Uh, what else we got? We got dried fruit. There, that put us. That that's good. We're good now. Let's look around here and just see if he had anything that we could actually use. Not much, really. All right, let's go ahead and sleep here. And then we're going to travel back to the Miller's farm and then check on uh, Teresa. So we'll sleep till 6. Or Theresa, I mean. See if she'll let us take that walk with her. Alright, we're going to travel down here and we'll find something to eat when we get down there to the Miller's place. I think they should have a pot of food, hopefully. Um, where we can eat. This guy doesn't have anything around here. Actually, you know what? We can take some more stuff hungry. off the dead bodies. Oh, or not. The dead bodies are gone now. Okay. Well, that ain't gonna work. Um, perhaps they'll have food here. That's not that far away. We're gonna have to start figuring out how to eat. Dry our own food or something. It seems like apples and stuff doesn't really hold us over for very long. Oh shoot, this place isn't open yet. Um, hmm. Think they got something in here, maybe? No. Those are just stables. Alright, let's wait an hour. And then they should be open, hopefully. We can go ahead and get some food. We need to probably just, like, buy some stuff. Uh, everybody's dressed. You guys are ready to start the new day. It's still locked. What the heck? What the heck time do you guys open? I'm about to starve here. Oh, there we go. There we, there's something to eat. Oh, well, they don't have any food in there. That's nice. We got food over here. Nope. Um, come on, surely somewhere. Eat from pot. That's what I need to do. All right, now let's go. Back down to here, Rate Mill. Another long journey, but that's fine. We'll get down here and talk to Theresa. And hoping that we can at least start this courtship quest. Or why she wouldn't walk with us last time, I'll I do not know. Attack on the road. Um avoid. I don't I don't Don't really want to deal with it. Oh, we can actually we can actually lose an attack on the road by avoiding it. So that's its success, so I'm assuming that it's possible to lose an attack. Alright, Theresa, where are you at? Let's go take this walk you want, or I want to do. I'm ready to settle down, girl. There's the miller. There she is. Talk to the miller real fast. Good day. Sell some you. of these items we don't want. How did you get mixed up in thieving? Uh, sell stolen goods. We've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right, let's see what we can do about that. Hmm, can't sell anything but stolen goods. Well, don't want to sell any of that stuff, so. All right, Theresa. Shall we take a walk? What now? Shall we take a walk? You don't give up, do you? Well, let me think. And where would you care to go? 
Hmm. Let's go to a stroll along the river. What if we took a stroll along the river? Why not? That sounds lovely. Shall we go? I mean, that's where I would take a girl. I wouldn't take her to a tavern, I don't think. Let's, Let's go. go. I probably should have, like, washed and got clean, but... The mill winch before noon. Well, it's before noon, is it? Isn't it? Or is it? It may not be, actually. Oh, here we go. Slow down to a walk. Yep. Hey, look out! Doesn't even oh, know sorry. how to apologize. I said sorry. I didn't mean to bump into you. I, I, I am sorry. I don't know what else to say. So are we gonna talk while we're on this walk, or are we just like you know, walking? That was a good idea to go for a walk. Wasn't Not that it? I don't like the mill, but you get tired of it. So I'm glad you took me out. You're welcome. I'd love to see the markets in Prague one day. Have you ever been to Prague? No, I haven't. I have been in Kuttenberg, but Prague must be much bigger. <laughs> I've heard it's pretty smelly, though. Yeah, so many people in one place. So many assholes. <laughs> That's disgusting. I'd love to listen to that young preacher, Jan Hus. They say he preaches in the common tongue. Everyone's talking about it. I bet he's just handsome. That's why the women dote on him. <laughs> You're a right one. A preacher doesn't need good looks for people to listen to him. And what about that fine fellow at St. James? I know full well why all the girls have started going to confession, and you have too, so don't give me any of that. <laughs> you scoundrel. Well, all right. I admit I find him handsome. But that doesn't make me a bad Christian. I'd never dare to suggest such a thing. Tell you what. Let's not doddle. Okay. Last one is a slimy slug. Well, that'll be you because I'm way faster than you are. Eat my dust, sucker. Come on. You want to run? Let's go. What are we running to, anyway? Should I let her win? I probably should. Oh, oh my ankle. I seem to have turned it. <laughs> oh, no, you're beating me. I wonder where we're actually running. <laughs> Look how she runs. It looks funny. Oh, she's actually picked up speed a little bit here. <laughs> that was oh, fun. That was fun. Oh, good Sit times. Sit down here next to me, Hal. Okay. Where are we? Where at? Right here? Oh, what's gonna happen? She doesn't seem you? like a loose woman. I heard you're helping Sir Radzig. Sir Radzig has me running in a few errands. I have to say, he always treats me well. And I make a wage. So you've had your turn of luck. What's it like serving nobility? It's work like any other. The lap of luxury. Oh, it's endless luxury, money, banquets, games stuffed with other games. <laughs> a chicken stuffed with... stuffed with a frog. Yeah, and that's mm, nothing possibly. compared to a frog stuffed with a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> a goat stuffed... <laughs> <laughs> with a pig? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't find it quite as funny, but okay. Oh, he done took his hat off. Helmet. Ah, oh, he's smitten. Look at him. Now then. Ah, oh, Henry, what am I going to do with you? Wandering the land, turning innocent girls' heads. Hmm. The only one here whose head is all messed up is me. I hope your knees don't buckle. <laughs> the only one here whose head is all messed up is me. 
How do you always manage to look so good? Just look at the lady oh, killer. You sweet Where did you learn you? to talk that way? Mm, I don't recall which church service it was exactly. <laughs> you scoundrel. But you certainly know how to make a girl feel special. You may continue. But now I have to go. Can I go with you? Just a little way. I don't want anyone to gossip. Oh yes, God forbid. Okay, well that's cool. I hope we can start a little relationship with her. So, we'll go do uh, something else in the next episode and then come back and, and speak to her again. Well, Theresa, it was nice, uh, nice talking me. to you. for Please come and see me again. Yeah, absolutely. I've got some stolen stuff to sell to your, your uh, uncle. <laughs> Uh, Alright guys, well, that's going to do it for this episode. I appreciate everyone watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, sorry if you guys heard any background noise. Um, don't really have the best place to record as of yet, but I am working on building a brand new studio that should be built and hopefully I'll be in it by, well, within the next three or four months. So that'll be a, a big uh, a big deal for me. So new places to race, to play, everything with no one talking in the background, thank God. Anyway, I will see you guys later. I hope you guys have a great day. And until next time, bye-bye.